Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Tell the truth about my baby. My baby was not going to hurt you. My baby was not in the wrong. And I will set my face against you. Uh -huh. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. You see that? God said we're going to be slain before our enemies. How many times have y'all seen on Facebook a cop kill one of us and get off? I'll pray. But this is what I wanted to show you, bro. Come over here real quick. Come over here real quick. Okay. I'm self-made. On this side right here. You know about till you make your You got who God calls us, right? And you got what the so-called white man calls us. What's your father? What's your father? Your father so-called black man? Well, that's what, that's, that, that's what I was. Right. That's, <laughs> so, what I, that's what he's still to my right. Right. So he's a so-called black man. Notice I said, notice I said so-called. Right. He's a so-called black man. So you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. You understand that, bro? Mm -hmm. A lot of, For a long time, we've been called these misnomers. Right. Nigga. Black. Porch monkey. Right up. You know what I'm saying? All these different things or whatnot. But we've never been called Israel. You understand that? Right. We are the gods on this earth. Come over, come back over here real quick. You, so that's why I asked you, you know what I'm saying? What's your what's your right, nationality? Right, right. I see, I see. Because a lot of us don't know who we are. Right. Give me an Isaiah. We don't know who we are, right? So we sit around here, we just call ourselves whatever the white man calls us. Right. The white man say we a nigga? All right, I'm a nigga. The white man say I'm a so I'm a black man, all right, I'm black. Whatever he calls us, Afro, whatever he calls us, that's what we go by. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner. You hear that, bro? God said the ox knoweth his owner. Read. And the ass his master's crib. You hear that? And the ass his master's crib. That's a donkey. Right. Two dumb animals. Read. But Israel. Uh, who? But Israel. Uh -huh. Do not know. You hear that, bro? God said Israel don't know what? My people do it not consider. You see that? Our people don't even consider who they is. You understand that? We haven't we ever thought about why do I go through the things I go through? Why is it everywhere my people at, we poor? You see, you get what I'm saying? We never think about these things. We never sit around because we too busy what? Working or we too busy trying to do some type of That's thing right. to ease the pain right. Right. of this captivity. You understand that? Right. So we never really consider. Read that again. Verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel uh -huh. doeth not know, uh -huh. my people doeth not consider. Three. And sinful nation. You see that? God called us a sinful nation. Because what we do all the time, uh, what's your name again, bro? Steve. Steve. What we do all day, Steve? We sit up there. How many murders have been been in Brookhaven? A whole bunch. Me and my brother, we from Jackson, Mississippi. We understand crime, bro. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'm from South Jackson. That's right. So we understand crime. So we understand what our people going through out here in the community. Right. We understand how it is at nighttime to hear gunshots and you can't even sleep at night. Right. You ever heard a gunshot so close that you had fell off the bed ducking, thinking a bullet coming in your house? I have. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And everybody, if you come and talk to any of these brothers in purple, they'll say the same thing. Right. Bro, I had to get on the floor. From trying to think a bullet about to come through my house. Right. How many times have you heard about a baby getting hit in the back of the head in, inside our house from a drive-by shoot? Right. Yeah, they have, we, we, we understand these things, don't we, Steve? Yeah. God said what? And sinful nation, uh -huh. a people laden with iniquity. You see that? He said our people are laden with iniquity. That's why we, when we come to you and say, uh, who, who are you, brother? You wanted all the war that it came. Think about how many brothers we have tried to pass flies to, right. and they told you right. to hell with you. That's right. Oh, right. Here, now you got to say. You right. understand that, bro? God chose you for a reason. God put you over there with them Jordans over there and for these prophets to come over there and talk to you for a reason, bro. Right. Right. You get what I'm saying? You was at the right place at the right time, right. man. Right. You understand that? Right. Let me do the run to 76. Right. 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 You understand that, bro? Cause that, and that's why I asked you, what, have you ever been told that you was a God before? Because the only thing I done heard most of my life was either you're going to be dead or in jail. That's right. right. You understand that? Even I even it, it, I, I know it. everybody, all of us have, bro, because we never had a high standard for ourselves. Right, right. Even our parents. You ain't shit. You just like your dad. You don't do shit, and you never go to amount to shit. All you ever do around here is eat, sleep, and shit. Look at this place. Way y'all act, y'all must think I'm the maid. Is that it? I gotta go. Hell no, it ain't it. It ain't it till I say it's it, damn it.
Even when you go to the to the schoolhouse, they don't tell Bring you you can be a professor. They try to give you a blue collar job. Right, right. You know, maybe you can get good in janitorial service. Right, right, they didn't right. even change it up. They call it a, what an environmental specialist. Right. right. <laughs> like, dude, that's a that's a janitor. Oh, but they don't say that we can be a professor. You know what I'm saying? They always try to put us in subpar conditions. Right. Because that's all we ever been known for. But let me show you what God say, Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art a holy people. You hear that, bro? Yes, sir. This ain't going for everybody. I want, I want to let you know something. This Bible is an exclusive book. Right. VIP, very important people. Right. You understand that? Right. We always try to be universal. And then when it be universal, who end up being at the bottom? We do. Right. Every time, every time we sit up there and say, well, everybody can be saved. But then we, sit there, we can't be saved. Or we don't, I just talked to talk to a brother over there. He sit up there and say, we can't be perfect. Right. Why can't I? Teach. Huh? Why can't I be perfect? I, I'm trying, I want to loosen that gunk up out your mind because all we ever heard was dumb stuff. Nonsense. But God said, what, Rick? For thou art in holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Uh -huh. To be a special people. You hear that, Steve? Yeah. God said he chose us to be a special people, Reed. Unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. You hear that, bro? God said that we are above all people. That's on the right. face of this earth. Right. Right. Can't nobody match the Israelites, bro. You understand that? But what happened to us? Why are we sitting over here drinking beer, smoking, you know what I'm saying, doing all type of nonsense on the Sabbath day? Why? Because, but I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna show you something. Give me that Leviticus. Hold actually, it. Give me two, give me two more scriptures. Let me show you something. Two more scriptures. Two more scriptures. I got you. Leviticus 26 and 17. I want to show you something real quick. Because hey, this is this is some good stuff you about to hear, bro. Because you're already there. I know, I know. You gotta go pick up your wife. But I want, I just want to show you something. Read. How you doing, bro? This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 17. Uh, hurry it up. And I will set my face against you. You hear that? This is what happened. God set his face against us. Because when God was with us, we was in rulership. You understand that? We was ruling the planet, bro. We weren't always like this. What's your name? Steve. Steve. I got two Steve's over here. Come on. <laughs> I got two Steve's. Let me know. So we weren't always like this. God set his face against us, Reed. Hey, I see you watching the video. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Matter of fact, won't you like, subscribe, and share? IUIC Mississippi burning. Like, subscribe, and share. Even comment. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. You see that God said we're gonna be slain before our enemies. How many people have been snatched up? How many missing poster signs y'all have seen of our people? Millions, millions of we done been slain. Read that again. And I will set my face against you, uh -huh. and ye shall be slain before your enemies. You see that? God said we're going to be slain before our enemies. How many times have y'all seen on Facebook a cop killing one of us and get off? Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This morning, the family of U.S. Airman is pushing for answers after a new body camera video shows him being shot and killed by a Florida sheriff's, uh, sheriff's deputy at the airman's doorstep. Initial reports from the sheriff's office there say the deputy acted in self-defense, but Rogerson, Roger Fortson's family says the deputy went to the wrong apartment. I want to warn you, too, that uh, some of this video may be a little difficult to watch. Jared Hill has more. Sheriff's office, open the door! In newly released body cam video, an unnamed deputy with the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Department knocks on the door of 23-year-old senior airman Roger Sheriff's Fortson's office, apartment. Open the door. Fortson answers with a handgun pointed downward. Seconds later, the deputy shoots. He shot up. My baby was shot up. Fortson's family is now demanding answers. Authorities say they were responding to a 911 call about a domestic disturbance. She's saying that it happens frequently. Okay. But this time it sounded like it was getting out of hand. Fortune's mother Mika says he was home alone on FaceTime with his girlfriend during the shooting. A portion of that FaceTime, which appears to be from after the shooting, was released by the family's attorney. Law enforcement can be heard talking about Fortune's injuries. CBS News has added the subtitles. Yeah, he shot her. You got that six subtitles. Tell the truth about my baby. My baby was not going to hurt you. My baby was not in the wrong. I want to. How many times have it been recorded on TV 
and he get off. And they say, hey, my fault. He was, um, he was, he stepped to me wrong. He got too close. He right. got in my personal space and I had to shoot him. Right. You get what I'm saying? God said we're going to be slain before our enemies, read. They that hate you shall reign over you. You hear that? God said them that hate you shall reign over you. Let me ask you this. Who's in rulership right now? Who in rulership right now? You can answer. As far as what? Period. President. Yeah, period. Yeah, you already know who that is. Because, hey, hey, look here. Who ruling our neighborhood? Who we got to go to everything for everything? Yep. Huh? Who? <laughs> White folk. We can say, hey, bro, say it out loud. This your community. Right. You know what I'm saying? They rule over us. Right. Whenever you want anything, give me that to do the run the 20 for the one of all things. You hear what I'm saying? Because we got to go to the so-called white man for everything. We got to go to the other nations for everything. Who own this stuff? White people, right? Or Arabs is one or the other. You get what I'm saying? So them, them the people that rule over us. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy. You hear that? You, you heard her enemies twice. God said we're going to be slain in front of our enemies. All praise. God said we're going to be slain in front of our enemies. And here it said what? Thou shalt, thou shalt serve thy enemies. See that? Now we're going to serve our enemies. So not only is this man going to be killing us, we got to serve him too. Right. Is that a blessing or a curse? Huh? That's a curse, bro. Don't you know I didn't heard people say that was a blessing? I didn't heard people say that's a blessing. That's how jacked up we are. You, you see what I'm saying, bro? We didn't we didn't heard that before. Brother say that that's a blessing. No, it's not. This is not a blessing. We don't want to be in this condition. Right. You get what I'm saying? Read that. The Lord shall sin against thee mm -hmm. in hunger. Mm -hmm. You see that? So we're gonna have to go to the white man, the so-called white man, or the other nations in hunger, right? That's right. Who you pay your water bill to? You pay it to white people, the city of Brookhaven. And if you don't go down to that downtown there to pay your water bill, what's gonna happen? They gonna cut it off, and now they didn't got so good with it now. They 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 use a button now. They don't even have to come to your property no more. Right. They'll use a remote stop on your stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how they do it. So we gotta serve them in the water, read. And in thirst. And in thirst, right? Where you get your where you go get your water from? Where you gotta go get it from? You gotta go. Who on this? Sam Walton. You get what I'm saying? You got to go, hey, we don't, so-called black folk don't own water company. We don't own a utility company. You get what I'm saying? We don't own these things. We got to go to the other nations for the want of everything, right? And in nakedness. Uh -huh. And in nakedness. That, uh, that white beater you got on right there. Where you get it from? Wildwood. I know, I know where you got it from. I got a bunch of them. You get what I'm saying? So you got to go, even those slippers, even your pants, all that. We didn't, we didn't make these things. Even though you may have some type of you may have some celebrities that own clothing lines and things like that who own the textile companies. You get what I'm saying? So even though we may have businesses, because we got black-owned businesses, that might be a black-owned business, right? But where he get his washer, where he get the stuff to, to wash the cars with? You get what I'm saying? Who got to pay taxes to that property on? You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, even though we may have some type of ownership, that don't mean we actually own it. Because at any time, the so-called the city of, of um, Brookhaven or the state of Mississippi come in there and deem that property condemnable. Right. And guess what? Ain't no more business being ran now. Right, right. Right. You get what I'm saying? So we don't own no. We got to go see folks for everything, bro. Freak. And in want of all things. In want of all things. Your driver's license. You get what I'm saying? Your education. Even if you want the foolishness, Christianity, religion, you got to go to a, a so-called Edomite or a white man for that. Seminary school, you ever heard of that? You got to go there for that. So even for your foolishness, you got to go to the so-called white man. A death certificate, if you want to die, if you want to be deemed dead, you got to go to the white man for that. You got to go get a death certificate. You get what I'm saying? So read that again. And in want of all things. And in the want of all things, bro. <laughs> read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You hear that, bro? So God said he's going to put a yoke of iron on our neck. When did that happen to us, Steve? <laughs> when did that happen to us? Look at that. These are yokes of iron right there, Steve. He said he's going to put a yoke of iron on our neck. These are yokes of iron right there. When did that happen? Did these pictures fake? No, that's a movie right there. He just had a movie about that. 
You know what I'm saying? This ain't fake. This really happened or this slavery. Right. You know, they were selling folk downtown Brookhaven. You understand that, right? So we were sold here. You know what I'm saying? Some of our ancestors still stay here. I mean, they were from here, still here to this day. Aunties, uncles, grandmamas, and things like that. So God said he's going to put a yoke on our neck, Reap. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. This is the destruction. You understand that? When you take a man's nationality away from him, when you take his heritage, his traditions away from him, according to what the Bible say, guess what? That's slavery. You are destroyed at that, at that particular time. Right. Why do you think it's so easy for our people to kill each other? Why do you think it's so easy for our folks to sit up there and show no mercy towards each other? Why do you think that? Because we don't know who we are, according to the Bible. That nationality means a lot. Nation is men leading by example.